when you began your business, did you have any business coaches? Did you have anyone kind of guide you uh, in terms of like structuring your business to be successful? Did you have a team? Were you a solopreneur? Like, were you just like, okay, it's just me. I'm going to start an LLC and then I'm just going to do all the work and subcontract everything. Or how, you know, how did you approach building your business when you got started? So when it, when it came down to the contracting, yes, I did have a mentor and I was fortunate enough that my father was a contractor for four years before that. So that did help a lot in terms of understanding how the, con the contracting and subcontracting and uh, how to set up all of that. And, uh, you know, mainly, I mean, really the three things they really told me is uh, always be in good standing with your suppliers. Your suppliers always have to be paid. Uh, your uh, payroll and your subcontractors always have to be paid because you know uh, bad news travel faster than good news so if you start getting a name that so you're someone that doesn't pay their bills it's you know it's going to be tough to get people on the next job and always 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 remember to finish the job with the general contractors anything that you start you have to complete whether it's a client a general contractor whatever the case might be yeah so that that was you know good doing good service to the to, to your clients so that they can come back for more and uh, making sure that you keep your faucets open. As he says, he translates it from Italian, which is keeping your faucets open, meaning keep the water running. And that's that's really key. You know, if, if, you, if you're able to build a trade or a general contracting business with material, with your suppliers, I mean, sometimes the bigger the job, you, you have to use the lines of credit with your suppliers to fund the job. You know, you might get, let's say, a hundred thousand dollar job, which requires thirty thousand dollars worth of materials. You know, you cannot do that job unless you have, you know, that first job unless you have that thirty thousand dollars to deliver the materials on the job site. So, if you're in good standing with the five hundred, a thousand, two thousand dollar jobs, you know that they will help you. Once they know you, they will help you, and they will deliver those materials to the job, and then you can bill for those materials, and you know, you can get paid.